excited because I get to be here with Jace. That is your name, right? Mm -hmm. What's your last name, buddy? Ross. Jace Ross, what a nice name. And you're going to tell us a story, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. What's the story about? Um, he's, it's about Solomon. Solomon? And what happens with Solomon? Um, one night, um, he fell asleep. Okay. And, and God said, what do you want? In his dream, God talked to him? Mm-hmm. Cool. And he asked for wisdom. That's a good thing to ask for. I might have asked for a sandwich. Because <laughs> at night I get hungry. And if God said, little Nathan, what do you want? I'd be like, mm, I want a sandwich. But Solomon was smarter than that. He was wise. He asked for wisdom. Mm -hmm. And did God give him wisdom? Yes. Oh. And it made him really happy. So he blessed him. So Solomon asked for wisdom and not a sandwich. How did that make God feel? Good. Yeah? Was God pretty happy that Solomon asked for wisdom? Yes. Cool. And then what happened next? Um, he, he blessed him. God blessed Solomon? Mm -hmm. He gave him lots of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And then what did that let Solomon do? Um, he could solve problems. Oh, yeah, that's good, because if you're wise, you can solve problems. And whenever someone had an argument, mm -hmm. Um, they just went to um, Solomon, yep. and they figured it out. Oh, that's pretty wise. So, like, say somebody in your family cheers for the Winnipeg Jets, mm -hmm. and somebody in your family cheers for the Montreal Canadiens, and they can't sort it out. You'd have to go to somebody who's wise, mm -hmm. and that person would say, well, of course you need to cheer for the Jets. Mm -hmm. Right? And Solomon was wise. And little Nathan, mm -hmm. um, Solomon made a book. Wow, a book of all his wise thinking? I think I've heard of it. Did it tell me if I'm right, was it called rhubarb? No, was it rhubarb? Was no. it called peaches? No. no! Was it called proverbs? Yes. Oh, good, took, took me a while. Well, he must have been very smart. And mm -hmm. where do we find, is that book in the Bible? I think it is. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna learn something from Proverbs today. Well, buddy, we are gonna think about some of the wise things that Solomon wrote in the Proverbs. And I have one here for you to think about. But when you think about it, you're gonna think about it in a special way. Okay. You, you're gonna do what's called meditate. Okay. So, look at these candies. You'll like this. I got some candies here. Mm -hmm. You like Jolly Ranchers? Have you ever met a Jolly Rancher? No. Would you say your mom's a bit of a Jolly Rancher? <laughs> she enjoys ranching and she's generally in good spirits. I find her jolly. At any rate, right, here's the candies. You choose one that you like. Hmm. Take your time. What kind is that? It looks green. <laughs> okay, so to help you meditate, you unwrap it and put it in your mouth, but don't eat it fast. That's the I key know. to this whole enterprise, is to really just kind of get some mileage out of that thing. Here, hold it up to the, ca to the camera over there so they can see what kind you got. Nice. Okay, pop that into your mouth, and remember, you're just sucking it. Now, you're sucking on that and just letting it sit there, and you're tasting it real good, just like we're going to think about this proverb for a long time. You want to hear the proverb? Mm. All right, Solomon wrote this. He said, trust in the Lord mm -hmm. with all your heart. So use your whole heart. So sometimes you trust people just a little bit. Is there anybody you trust just a little bit? Uh. Like maybe somebody you don't know very good, you just trust a little bit, right? Uh. But then there's people like your mom or your dad that you trust lots. So trust in the Lord with your whole heart. And I'm going to show kids how you trust somebody with your whole heart. Okay. So I'm going to turn around like this. Okay, face away from you. So you stay there. And I'm going to fall backwards. And you're going to catch me. I'm trusting you with my whole heart. Uh -huh. Okay, you're going to catch me? Uh -huh. You promise? Because uh -huh. I'll break my neck. 
And we don't want that. Our insurance doesn't come with that kind of stuff. All right, here I go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you want to count down? You count three, two, one, and then I'll do a trust fall. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. I didn't really trust you with my whole heart, did I? <laughs> I stopped. Mm -hmm. Were your hands there? Mm -hmm. They were there, okay. I can trust you with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this again. Count to three. One, two, three. Oop. Hey, you got me. What a good kid. I trusted him with my whole heart, just mm -hmm. like we are supposed to trust God with our whole heart, because he'll catch us if we fall. Mm -hmm. Is that a good kid? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the verse? Do you remember the proverb, how it goes? Trust in the Lord with? Your whole entire heart. Your whole entire heart. Good job. Your meditating is paying off. Thank you kids for watching. Hope you meditate on kids. Yeah, meditate on those kids. And on the verse as well. What well, you're thinking about kids. It was fun doing this with you, Jace. I'm glad you caught me. That would have been ugly. Bye, everyone. Bye.